Welcome back. Here we are with another Whiskey Quickie. And today we're going to be reviewing something from our friends over at Blue Run Spirits. So we got the pretty butterfly. The first one, actually, I think it's the second time we've done Blue Run. I think we did theirs when they did their, their 13 and a half year old when they were doing, or maybe 12 and a half year old. They yeah, had this might be our third one. I think we did a 13 and a half year old. Oh, and the, the, the rye. rye. And, and then now the this is their, yeah, bourbon. And now we actually, have, it's not a sample. We actually have a full bottle of it to show you here on camera today. So it's, gosh, one of the best packages out there it's just it makes me jealous it's very nice it makes me a little jealous it, <laughs> yeah. it looks really nice but this is their kentucky straight high rye bourbon it is sourced and undisclosed but it has a mash bill of 65 percent corn 30 percent rye and five percent malted barley this is from their fall 2021 batch so this one is technically probably long gone by now this is bottle 71 it is non-age stated it is 111 proof and carries a price tag of $90. Yeah, but I, I think this is one of their flagship products that they'll be coming out with on a regular basis. Regular basis, yeah. So are they always going to have a continual iridescent butterfly? You think it's going to change? Oh, well, from what I've seen, they all change. Everyone's got a color. <laughs> Hopefully they can keep up with that, man. It's, a, it's only so many. Actually, I don't know. There's a lot of colors yeah, out there. Infinite. Well, I'm trying to think of computer, like in the hex category, there's like 65,000 something colors you can do. So that's a lot of releases. Yeah. They'll They're be good. busy. They're good. They'll be busy for a while. All, All right. right. Under the nose. Some of that sweet corn. Yeah. Some, some corn. You get that, uh, you know, some black pepper, a little raw spice kind of nose going on. Yep. Some brown sugar. Um, some good, just common, you know, typical around, bourbon notes. Kentucky bourbon notes, yeah. 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 Nothing overpowering pronounced. It's just, yeah, you said brown sugar, some sweet corn. So you got some sweetness and creaminess on the front. Actually, you know, yeah. those brown sugar. And then the mid-palate, really, you, you, that high ride really explodes right there. Um, it's got some nice fruity notes. A little white pepper, black pepper. I was gonna say I get I get some graham cracker in there. Yeah, a little bit of like drizzled honey or something like that too. I mean, it's for 111 proof. You would have fooled me a little bit. I think it drinks pretty pretty well for that that proof. Yeah, it's it's very balanced. Um, it's yeah, it's, and it's a nice progression from sweet to to to, to spicy. It develops nicely throughout. There you go. Another gobstopper of bourbon. That's right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's write it. So on the nose, where you at? Sideways, I mean, there's nothing bad, nothing good. It's just good. It's pretty average. It's <laughs> yeah. like I said, a good average Kentucky bourbon. Yeah. And on the taste. Thumbs up. I really like it. I think it's really good. I think they did a good job. And on the finish. Thumbs up. I like it. I mean, yeah, it's got some great buildup. I love bourbons that start sweet and then build up to some nice spice. So mm -hmm. it hits every checkbox, at least for me. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Way to go, guys. Always love to see what kind of new color butterflies are coming out with in the next release. Yeah. But cheers. And we'll see you next week.